In this video, I'm going to show you how I caught this striped bass on my kayak. It's my fourth keeper of 2020. I will also show you how, I, how one of my fishing rods fell to the bottom of the ocean, but I recovered it, luckily. I started out the kayak fishing trip using my sabiki rig to find some live bait. The sabiki rig is easy to use. There are two ends of the rig. One is marked to attach to your fishing rod line, and the other is marked to attach to a weight. The sabiki rig has six hooks on it, and you jig it up and down at various depths in the water column to catch bait fish. I catch one mackerel and immediately live line it with a circle hook through its nostrils. I also catch a few small pollock. Once I am done with the sabiki rig, I wrap it around its case and store it for the next kayak fishing trip. I then spend the next half of my kayak fishing trip hunting for striped bass. A blue fish tore off most of the live mackerel I was using as live bait and left me with the head. I knew it was a blue fish because they have sharp teeth that can cut a mackerel clean like a sharp blade. I did not let that stop me from hunting for striped bass and continued to troll the head on the hook. I also decided to use an SP minnow lure at, on my second fishing rod and trolled both rigs with my fishing rods in my crate behind me as I paddled next to the rocks with the two hooks in the water. The striper hit my SP minnow hard and I heard a noise behind me as the fishing rods were knocked loose off of my crate. Unbelievable. I looked back and see one fishing rod dangling on the edge of my kayak and I grab it while the other fishing rod unfortunately fell off the kayak and sank to the bottom of the ocean. Luckily I grabbed the rod in time and it was the rod with the striper on it. I was close to some rocks and had to be careful. The fight with the striped bass was fun. It's always fun. Once I landed the fish, I was also lucky to recover my lost fishing rod from the bottom of the ocean. The lines were yes. had somehow crossed and got tangled, which is probably why the other rod fell in the ocean. As I spooled the loose Ooh. line, I was happy to recover my lost fishing rod. These things are expensive. You would never believe me if I did not have the video to prove that this happened. <laughs> I was ecstatic because this was my fourth keeper of 2020. I know that 2020 has been a tough year for everyone with the COVID-19 virus, but I've been trying to make it make the best of it and spending quality time with my family at home and also staying active with some activities like kayak fishing, which is great for social distancing. I hope that you, all of my viewers, are all doing well and are safe and healthy. I brought this striped bass home to my family and we made three dishes with it. They were all delicious. My favorite dish was a Filipino dish called kinilao. You eat the fish raw like ceviche or sashimi. I put one cup of white vinegar, dado puti, and let the fish marinate in it for 10 minutes. I then drain the vinegar and I then add one cup of coconut milk, red peppers, cilantro, shallots, garlic, and lime juice. You can't get fish that's fresher than fish you just caught yourself, even in a sushi restaurant. Eat this fish over rice and you will love it. We also cooked another dish in my cast iron skillet in the Weber grill with ginger lime soy sauce as a marinade. The cast iron skillet is great for pan searing the fish and you can serve the fish right out of the skillet. For the third dish, we used the head of the fish and the excess meat to cook a Filipino fish stew called sinigang. Uh, this fish stew is made with tamarind juice, spinach, beans, radishes, onions, and tomatoes. It's also delicious. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click like, comment, or subscribe. I have other kayak fishing videos that you may enjoy on my fishing playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and have a great day.